Good morning. You know, as I was thinking about what to talk about for this week, uh, it's funny, we've been we've been trying a new thing out where we just see what word comes to us. And, and, and this word, this week, the word is uh, giant. I, I'm not really sure what uh, made me think of that, you know, but uh, <laughs> it makes me think about when I was a kid. Back in my day, it was kind of like, my dad's stronger than your dad. Oh yeah, my dad's stronger than your dad. And we get into these little school fights or whatever, romp around on the ground, things so much, so much serious, uh, more serious today, you know? I mean, gun shootings at schools and never really heard of that back in my day. And, you know, I'm thinking about social media too. It's like, there's a lot of people out there. <laughs> Maybe this is why I thought of it too. You know, they, they're just kind of like, they, they think they're really big and tough. You know, anybody can be tough, you know? Like back in my day, it was more like a face-to-face -face thing. You know, it's a lot harder to be tough when you're face to face with somebody than just being able to post something or write something or text it or whatever. But anyway, that's not the, that's not really the giant stuff I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk about uh, the giants that you're facing in your life. What are they? Is it a struggle? Is it addiction? Is it a painful uh, memory from the past? Is it a broken relationship? Is it financial concerns? Uh, the health of loved ones? Uh, there's all kinds of giants in our lives. Uh, what is it that you're facing right now? As, as we look into the new year, you know, everybody's so hopeful about 2021, but yet some of us are probably thinking, you know, those same giants that I was trying to deal with in 2020 are actually still there in 2021. So how do you, how do you face that? You know, I've shared with you uh, before devotions from Graham Cook's Radical Perceptions. I absolutely love this book. Um, I read it probably four or five times throughout the year, just from beginning to end, and I start all over beginning to end. And uh, this first one here talks about that, giant. It says, when we look at a giant, okay, whatever that is in our lives, there are mixed messages that we receive. First, the enemy, that's Satan, tells us that we are too small and not strong enough, big enough, or powerful enough to overcome the opposition in front of us. The enemy has a vested interest in our low self-esteem and powerlessness. Do you feel powerless? How is your self-esteem? I, I, do you think that you're not worthy of God's love? That you're not capable of his strength? That he can't possibly work in you? To, to make it through whatever it is that you're facing. What are the giants that you're facing? Let's be honest, let's be real. You know, our Wednesday night group, I love it because the guys come there, they know they don't have life figured out. We share our giants, we share our frustrations. We shared that we're there to be an army together with God as our leader. And as our leader, I love this verse. Let me get my phone out. 2 Corinthians, <clears throat> Graham Cook addresses it in this book here. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 2.14. God always makes his grace visible in Christ, who includes us as partners of his endless triumph. Through our yielded lives, he spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere we go. We have become the unmistakable aroma of the victory of the anointed one to God, a perfume of life to those being saved, and the order of death to those who are perishing. The unbelievers smell a deadly stench that leads to death but believers smell the life-giving aroma that leads to abundant life. And who of us can rise to this challenge? For unlike so many, we are not peddlers of God's word who water down the message. We are those sent from God with pure motives who speak in the sight of God from our union in Christ. I love that. God always makes his grace visible in Christ, who includes us as partners of his endless triumph. Wow. So I always wonder what that verse meant, and this Passion Translation really explains it. We get to, we get to walk along with him in his triumphal walk that he does. He includes us in that. You know, technically speaking, we get to say, my father's stronger than yours. My daddy's bigger than yours. 
especially when we're talking about God, our Heavenly Father. What problem is it that you are facing? You know, we focus so much on how big the problem is. You know what I'm trying to learn to do? I'm trying to focus on how big God is. Why is it so easy to focus on how big the problem is, but not on how big God is? I love this. He, Graham Cook says it here. The Holy Spirit, on the other hand, is always too confident to be taken in by such immature foolishness. The foolishness of feeling powerless and low self-esteem. That's what he's talking about. He points, the Holy Spirit points to the opposition and says, that's the size you're going to be when this fight is over. <laughs> wow, I love that. That's the size you are going to be when this fight is over. Say it with me. That's the size you're going to be when this fight is over. Can you imagine, instead of looking at our problems and just going, oh, oh, man, I'm so small, I'm so weak. We get to look at them, whatever those problems are, whatever that giant is, whatever that unknown is, that's the size you're going to be when this fight is over. Because I have God on my side. He's my father. He gives me the strength. In fact, I get to walk around with him in his triumphal procession. Man, I love that. I love that verse. And, and when we believe this, folks, the Bible says that's like a, a fresh aroma, the aroma of Christ. I love being outdoors here. We got cedars over here. <sighs> the smell of the outdoors. I love it. To those who don't know Christ, it's like a stench to them. And we pray for you. We pray that you can reject those worldly ways, that you can reject the old way of life, that you can become part of that fresh aroma of Christ and come to know him in faith and walk around in triumphal procession with him. I love that. Remember, whatever it is that you're facing, remember the words? That's the size you're going to be when this fight is over. That's the Holy Spirit working in us. We can't do it without him. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He always leads us. He's our father. And he's tough. And he can conquer anything that this world dishes off, dishes out. This is Pastor John from 15.5 Ministries. You have a great day and share this word of hope with others.